In our last video, we took a look at the Visual Form Builder and how you can use it to easily create a new form for your nonprofit's website. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the more sophisticated communications confirmation features within the Visual Form Builder plugin that you can use to better communicate with the people who are filling out the forms that you're creating and using on your website. So to find those features, what we're going to do is zoom back down to the Visual Form Builder once again. This time we're editing a pre-existing form, so I'm going to go to All Forms. Then I'm going to select and edit the volunteer application. Once that opens, what I'm going to do is actually make sure that this settings area is open. I've had uh, clients before uh, get confused about, you know, how, how do you change these uh, messaging things? And it's uh, simply because they were not clicked into the settings section. So make sure that if you're editing, editing this stuff, you go to that settings section and click on it. All right, so we're gonna go do that right now. All right, so once the settings section is open, you're gonna see that there are a bunch of new options available to you. So let's go and look at those. So first of all, this general one uh, just allows you to uh, design and designate where your labels, like for instance, the things for signing up to volunteer, instructions, email area, how those are aligned. I generally just, you know, leave it on top aligned. Email, this actually defines what information comes back to you through the forms on your website. So this email subject is something that you are going to see in your email box, as well as the name of the organization, the reply to email, and the email to. Now, the most important thing here is this email to section. That is where you're going to uh, actually receive these form submissions. So make sure that that's the correct email address. Uh, as you can see, you can actually have multiple ones, which is pretty awesome if you have multiple staff members monitoring the same information on the website. All right, so the next area is actually where we're going to begin to edit uh, what we were hoping to uh, describe in this video, kind of the purpose of this video, uh, what those users are gonna see. So let's get into that. So this confirmation, you know, as it says in this little description here, is what shows up on your website's page when they select uh, select the confirmation button or the submit button and process that form's information. So this will be the little greeting that says, yes, you know, you've submitted your information successfully. So it has some default content in here. Uh, what I recommend is going in and just adding your own custom information to greet this person who's just filled out a form on your website. You can also, if you want to, direct information to, or direct people, excuse me, to a new page on your website. Now that's actually quite handy if you're using something like Google Analytics to track things like, you know, new volunteer uh, submissions on your website, or, uh, you know, people who are submitting maybe, you know, uh, information about uh, an interest in a new program to your organization, things like that. You can actually set up a goal within Google Analytics for every time someone actually reaches that confirmation or thank you page on your website. So that feature is hugely helpful in uh, not immediately intuitive ways. So um, you can also do a redirect and a redirect in this case will send someone away from your website to another website. This might be useful if for instance, you have uh, some kind of Oh, let's say monetary transaction that you'd like to direct someone to after they've completed uh, an initial form on your website. Uh, generally, as a usability practice, though, I would recommend not redirecting people to another website just because, you know, we all have had that experience where you're suddenly redirected to a different website, even if it's somewhere that you wanted to go. Um, if it's unexpected, it can be kind of jarring and a little annoying and can, you know, raise a red flag with people. Uh, you know, before that website loads, they may think that they're being redirected to a malicious site. So definitely don't abuse that feature. All right, so that being said, that's how you change your confirmation. So let's take a look at the notification feature now. So the notification feature is actually really nice. What this allows you to do, as the description here says, um, it allows you to have 
a email come from the website to the email address that the user submitted in the form to confirm that their information has been received and also to you know allow you to tell them any additional information uh, that you'd like to share with them at this time. So we're going to pretend that we want to use that. So in this case, I'm going to you know enter the name of maybe my volunteer administrator at my organization. And I'm going to put Cindy's email address in here. If I can spell it right. Okay, great. And uh, this email to section is going to allow me to pick the field from my form where my website visitor and form filler outers email address actually is. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to put in some kind of subject line uh, that you know ensures that these folks actually know what this email is all about. So thanks for applying to volunteer. All right, great. And we can, if we want to, actually include a copy of the user's submission just so that they have a record of what they sent us in terms of their you know, volunteer preference, for instance. That's kind of handy. Um, otherwise, you can just you know, leave that unselected if you don't want that. Now, here in this message, we have an opportunity to, again, you know, give them a warm thank you for doing whatever they've done and also to you know, potentially tell them about ne next steps. So you, know, you could say, for instance, that you can expect to hear from us in uh, you know, the next couple of days, or um, you know, someone's going to call you, or um, if there's you know, some kind of additional step that they need to take, you can give them instructions on doing that here as well. So that is very handy and a nice sort of user-friendly addition you know, to this wonderful plugin, and one of the reasons why I really like it. All right, so again, just to recap, uh, we looked at the settings in this video and took a look at how to change general settings, um, the email, which is information that defines what comes to you as uh, the person administering the form, the confirmation, which is what happens right after the user submits information, and the notification, which is what is emailed to the user after they fill out your form. So pretty cool stuff. Again, to you know save your changes, make sure you click Save. And you can always try out these settings by then visiting your form right away and filling it out yourself to see what it all looks like, which of course I always recommend that you do.